let's go in for the vegan famous taste test. What is going on vegan food explorers? I'm back in the vegan kitchen and we have got an epic video for you today. We're gonna be reviewing these brand new Oreo twists. So, as you can see, we've already opened them. I haven't had uh, one yet. Other people in my household have, so I'm very excited. These are the Oreo twists, which are just out from Oreo. And there's two versions. There is a vanilla and raspberry, and then there are these, which are vanilla and caramel flavor. And let's face it, the vanilla and caramel, caramel is gonna be better, isn't it? Let's just face it. And you can see here, they're like stacked on top of each other. So you've got the, the famous vegan biscuit on the outside, and then you've got this cream, vanilla, and then you've got the caramel on the inside. So Oreos, most of them are vegan. I think there are some that aren't, but the majority of them are vegan, which I was really, really shocked to discover that. And loads of other people, they're like, ah, you can't have this. And it's like, yes, I can. So whatever, looking really good. The price for one of these, I couldn't believe it. It's a pound, a pound in Tesco's at the moment. So a pound for a whole pack is amazing. Made by Mondelez, who are, you know, some massive company. Um, but don't let that put you off. So Oreo, let's have a little look close together. It's just the famous, famous, famous look of Oreos, isn't it? That really dark colour, that thick biscuit. Oh, I can smell it. it smells absolutely amazing. And um, ingredients wise, it is basically ingredient number one, our absolute favorite sugar. Then it's wheat flour. It does have palm oil in which is not great. And it doesn't say um, sustainable plant oil, plant palm oil. So that is actually a bit questionable in my, in my humble opinion. Um, would be great if they could change that. Um, and then it's got things like wheat, cocoa powder, syrup, raising agents, your pretty standard stuff there. So this is exactly the same size. Let's have a look. Uh, does it look like the picture? Yeah, it does actually. It's got a little machine that's gone boop, boop, on top of each other. Okay, let's go in for the vegan famous taste test. That's nice actually, can't tell. Feels like the vanilla, the cream, the creme, the vanilla is different to the normal. I don't know if it is, potentially. The caramel as well, really, really strong actually. It's definitely the, <coughs> excuse me, the flavor profile is the caramel, then it goes the biscuit and then the vanilla at the end. So if you love caramel, I think this could be right up your street. Have a look at that. The caramel, it's, it's really juicy. I don't know if it's quite warm in here, but it, it tastes softer than normal, almost liquidy really melt in your mouth stuff here. So yeah, I'm gonna have another bite. Oh, it's it's really juicy. I don't know if it's quite warm in here, but it, it tastes softer than normal, almost liquidy, really melt in your mouth stuff here. So yeah, I'm gonna have another bite. Okay, so I have more than one bite and it's all gone. So we're gonna use this as our example. I'd say these are really nice. If you like caramel, definitely this could be a really great addition to your biscuit drawer. Personally, the caramel it tastes, it's a bit too strong for me. And I just love regular Oreos. So I think when I have the caramel, for me, it's just too much. I don't, I just don't need it. If anything, I prefer the Oreos with the super thick. I really like those. But if you love caramel, have a bit of a sweet tooth and you're vegan, these could be right up your street. So I've got to say, big, big, great effort from Oreo. They're epic. They're probably the biggest biscuit brand, maybe, that are vegan and we love it. So keep it up. Let us know down in the comments below what you think. Have you had the raspberry versions? Are these better? Should I, do I need to pick them up? Or should I just stick with my absolute classic Oreos? But these get thumbs up from us. I think maybe a bit too sweet for me, but these would be epic for like a picnic or a 
birthdays, stuff like that, have them out on the table, or pack in your car for a road trip, stuff like that. These would be absolutely epic and 100% vegan, no eggs, no milk, nothing, no gelatine. So that gets a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. We have got loads more vegan food in the cupboards. I've also just started a new job up in London, uh, above London Bridge. So I've been spending all of my money on vegan food in there from wasabi, itsu, etc., etc. McDonald's has been pretty serious actually. Um, so watch out for loads more content coming up of me spending all of my hard earned cash on amazing vegan food. Wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you for watching and of course, we will see you in the next video.